Today I'm going to get into Min Hee Jin and people believe that she sold Jungkook's private information to a stalker. Then we have to get into her apparently being sued by the label and why people are saying that is happening. And then we have people believing that a lover of Jungkook was also leaked. So you don't believe it's safe to say hate it or not. Make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. Now there was a lot going on with Min Hee Jin's case and a lot of people are a bit confused on what is going on. So apparently Min Hee Jin held a press conference and when she addressed everything that was going on in the press conference she debunks a lot of the stuff that was widely believed and widely reported on. She talks about how it seems like the label is the only one that is able to get their story out and her story has yet to be heard and her story has been twisted into this narrative that she is unfamiliar with. One of those stories includes people saying that she said that BTS copied her and she's saying that that never happened and she never made those claims even though initially it was believed that she did. And so this is why it's important to keep your eye on the news and not just kind of read one story and then forget about it. It's because there's always updates to things. Now a lot of people are very interested in this idea of where this story even came from. If she never said it to begin with and why it was just made up. Because a story that would be made up would be really bad. Whereas a story that would be twisted into this narrative would be a whole different story, right? And I have many theories as to what was going on with this. I believe that if it was an internal conversation, maybe it was just misconstrued and someone thought that she mentioned copying when maybe she just said it looks like it was inspired by BTS or whatever it was. And I'm not saying that that is actually what happened. I'm saying that that is a possibility as to how the story got twisted into a certain way. And that what ended up being said to the media wasn't a lie in the eyes of the person who said it. Like they probably believe what they said was true. It's just that it was twisted from a misunderstanding. Oftentimes when people hear a lawsuit or they hear sort of these legal things, they tend to think it's more of a business thing and more of a legal thing and less of an emotional and all that sort of stuff. But oftentimes people sue because it's emotionally harmful to them. Oftentimes people don't even pursue legal action if it isn't something that they took personally. I.e. in this case, it's people's work, it's people's art that's being on the table that the two people are fighting over. So I definitely wanted to take this moment to say that according to her, she never said that and it's important to address her side of the story as well. Now where this case will go and how it will end up and who is right and who is wrong is yet to be known and I don't know what the end result is going to be. At this point I don't see a clear right or wrong. I see two people with different sides of the story that will have to be settled in court or some sort of formal dispute setting where they'll be able to talk out their differences and work out what's happening. And not all legal disputes end up with a lot of money being the end result. Oftentimes they can just end up with a gag order or just letting the press know that it wasn't the way they reported things. The label has talked about how they won't be punishing the artists that are involved and they will be continuing to do things as normal. The only people that would be sort of at a legal dispute would be the two parties that are involved. However, we have yet to see if the artists will actually be affected because there probably are going to be things that would involve these specific artists to not be able to promote and I can't really say what it would be but there could be. It's very easy to paint someone in this image of a villain. We all like to have a villain in our stories or read a story with a villain. But the truth of the matter is, and the actual reality of it, is most people are not villains. I would say the villains that we read in the stories are people doing horrible, horrible things to their kids and that sort of stuff. These people obviously exist, but these people are very far and few in between, which is why they make the news. Now most people, and even most people who are sociopaths, don't really do horrible things. And oftentimes what we may perceive as a horrible thing is just us not knowing their side of the story. And it's important to realize that there isn't a person who is just all bad. There isn't a person who is just all good. And someone may be doing something that is perceived as bad because they themselves believe it's good, but in reality it could be bad. But then are they a bad person because they truly believe what they're doing is something good? So these are the questions that people should be asking when they want to determine whether a person is good or bad. Now there's been a lot of discussion as to what damage Min Hee Jin might have caused in her time in the label. Now I don't really believe that there is any specific real danger that she may have caused, but there's a lot of alleged danger that she may have caused. One of them being she sold Jungkook's information to several stalkers. And if we know anything about the situation that was happening with him recently, there was a lot of stalker moments that were coming out. Such moments like a lover being leaked in Qatar and it was a blonde lover or even just a stalker showing up at the gym and those sorts of things. And people really couldn't figure out for a long time where this was coming from. But people had a lot of allegations which I think was very interesting because if they were going to accuse someone of leaking all this information then it's interesting of how at the time they then accused the person 
who now they probably believe didn't do it. I'm not sure. Now, this comes from the allegations that people are saying that she leaked a lot of her staff's information and a lot of their private information was given to a shaman and that sort of stuff. And these are really crazy allegations, right? And you can read all about that online and all the other stuff. But I want to get into the fact that just because she allegedly leaked her staff's information doesn't mean that she would then leak other artists' information. Also, she probably wouldn't have access to Jungkook's personal information and all that stuff, even if she did work with them. It doesn't mean she had access to all this information. For example, even if they made music, the only thing she would have access to of John Cook's would be his phone number. Why would she need his address? Why would she need what gym he goes to? You know what I mean? Like that doesn't make any sense to accuse her of those things. And people go as far as to accuse her of doing things like selling that information to stalkers. I feel like people don't understand how much money people make in the industry. And people make so much money. New Jeans has had so many hits and so many big songs. If she was the one behind their success, New Jeans probably only takes like 10 to 20% of what they make. The rest goes to her. She's a multi-millionaire at this point. Why would she then sell information to a stalker? And how much money would she sell this information for? Because any amount wouldn't even be worth it for her if she ever got caught doing that. Or what is like a thousand dollars to her if she's making millions of dollars? Now going back a little bit, a lot of people very quick to make judgments about some of the stuff that was leaked about John Cook dating or John Cook sleeping with someone. A lot of this wasn't even the people within the community being upset at that these things were even happening, but a lot of people were upset that they were even coming out. And it makes sense why they were upset that this is coming out because a lot of this has been used as ammunition to attack Jungkook. However, a lot of those things that were talked about, like the video where Jungkook was in an apartment building or something and you can even see kind of through the glass and it appears like he's fooling around with someone. Also the rumor of him having a blonde girlfriend in Qatar. None of those things have been confirmed. First of all, I'm pretty sure Jungkook doesn't live on the first floor and he would live in an apartment complex where the first floor is the lobby, meaning the only way to get this view that people are talking about where they can kind of see him in his apartment complex would be if they were to be on a tree recording him through like a balcony or something, which makes no sense how that would even happen because then people would actually see a person climbing up on a tree. So this clearly is another apartment building. And so this is clearly someone who just so happened to be on the first floor. There are almost no luxury apartment buildings that have a first floor. All of them are like the first floor is the lobby and then the gym and all that other stuff. And then to get to the actual first floor where people live, sometimes you have to press like the 11th floor and that's where it starts. It's also given that most people probably wouldn't even be able to get that high to record that footage. I will also say this as a kind of little funny little insult or diss that you can say to some of these people who say this is that they clearly never even been in or stepped foot into an apartment complex that is luxurious to even know that this is how they're usually laid out. I do find it interesting to accuse someone of leaking things and attack someone for doing things over accusations or rumors that haven't been confirmed yet. To accuse Min Hee Jin of leaking a girlfriend and leaking that sort of stuff when a girlfriend still hasn't been confirmed yet is absolutely wild to me. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for this little comment right here. Love you. Bye.